The Bible tells us here in Revelation chapter 12, there was war in heaven, and this was in the when? Beginning. There was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against who? The dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels against who? Against Michael. Who was the dragon's war against? It was against? It was against? What's that word there? That name? Michael. So there are two sides in this war. There is the dragon and his angels, and then there is Michael and his angels, and we, we see here that the dragon is out to destroy or overpower who? Michael. It says, but he prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. Revelation 12, 7 and 8. And the question is, prevailed not in doing what? What did Lucifer, Satan, want to do to this Michael? Before we find that out, we need to find out first, scripturally speaking, who is this Michael, which is also called the archangel in scripture? Well, if we go to the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1, we read about this Michael again. And in Daniel 12, verse 1, it says, And at that time shall who? Michael stand up. And who is Michael, everyone? The great who? Prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Now this angel, Michael the archangel, here is called the great prince which stood for Israel. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Daniel, the whole entire book of Daniel, speaks about this prince in a lot of different ways. So we're going to notice just a couple of these verses. Daniel 8 verse 11 speaks of the prince of the host. Daniel 8.25 speaks of who? The prince of princes. Now, who would the prince of princes be? Who would the prince of princes be? Jesus. Very good. Who would the prince of the host be? Jesus. Excellent. Daniel 9.25 speaks of Messiah, the who? The prince. Very that we, That's pretty obvious. That's Jesus. Daniel 9.26 again speaks of Messiah and the prince. Daniel 10.13 calls Michael the first. Now in your KJV Bible, it says one of the chief princes. But if you look in your margin, the word one there actually means first. So Michael is called the first or the highest of the princes. Now who would be, if I were to just ask you, who is the highest of all the princes in the world? Who would you say? You would say Jesus. Very good. Daniel 10.21 Michael is called Daniel's prince. An angel is speaking to him and he says, None but Michael, your prince, holds these truths with me. And so Michael is called Daniel's prince or the prince of the Jews once again. And in Daniel 11.22, we find the prince of the covenant. Who would be the prince of the covenant? Jesus. Very good. In other words, the whole entire book of Daniel is speaking about this one prince. And then we get to Daniel 12, 1, and he is called who? Michael, the great prince. So, I want you to notice again, the Bible says here, for the Lord himself, for who? Who? The Lord himself shall do what? Descend from heaven with a shout. Now whose voice, when the Lord shouts, it says that it's going to come out or it will be with the voice of the who? Archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Now if I were to stand up here and shout and you heard Athena's voice come out, would you think that would be pretty strange? That would be quite strange. The Bible is telling us here that when the Lord himself shouts... It's going to be the voice of the who? The archangel. So the Bible here is calling Jesus or is relating Jesus, explaining Jesus as the archangel. Now you're saying, wait a minute. Are you saying that Jesus is created? No way in the world. Hold your thought. <clears throat> Michael is simply the pre-incarnate name of the Son of God. Listen to me. How many of you have ever heard of Matthew Henry? Matthew Henry's commentary in uh, libraries of pastors all across 
America. Matthew Henry, a famous scholar, he says, speaking of Daniel 12, Christ is that great prince, for he is the prince of the kings of the earth. Meant speaking on Michael. Again, John Wesley. How many of you have heard of John Wesley? John Wesley, who believes in Jesus Christ, who in no way, shape, or form believed that Jesus Christ was a created person. John Wesley, speaking on Daniel 12, says, When Michael, your prince, the who? Messiah shall appear for your salvation. Archangel, the word angel in the Hebrew is malak. It simply means, the word archangel simply means highest messenger. The word malak means messenger. So the Bible here, when it calls Jesus the archangel, is not saying that Jesus was a created being. It's simply saying he is the highest of all what? Of all messengers. Notice Malachi 3 verse 1, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And who? The Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger, and guess what the Hebrew word is for that word messenger, which is describing the Lord? Malak, the Hebrew word for angel. So it calls here Christ the messenger or the angel of the covenant whom you delight in. Behold, he shall come, say the Lord of hosts, according to Malachi 3 verse 1. So again, very simply speaking, when the Bible calls Michael the archangel, it's simply saying that he is the highest of all messengers. Jesus Christ is not a created being. What did I say? He is not a created being. He himself, he, life is in him. He was not created, but the Bible calls him the highest of all messengers. Now, now that we understand who Michael is, when the Bible says that the dragon, war, his war was against Michael, we understand then that his war was against who? Jesus. Satan and his angels were warring against Jesus and his angels. 